Welcome to this video course on numerical and scientific computing with SciPy by Pact Publishing. I'm Greg Arnold, and I'll be Sergio's voice for this course. This course might well be considered as an open door to get you started on using a set of modern computational tools whose ultimate goal is to explore data via scientific modeling and reasoning. There are a wide range of technologies developed via machine learning research and development programs, some of which you'll be able to implement on your own by closely following the topics covered in this video course using the Python programming language. Sergio is currently a full professor of physics at the Universidad Simón Bolivar in Venezuela. He routinely teaches graduate and undergraduate courses in the science and engineering programs at his current university. Some relevant courses taught by him include computational financial engineering and Monte Carlo simulation. A course on parallel computation has also been taught as a special course on some international events. As a physicist, he's published research on topics related to numerical relativity, as is the case of the evolution of radiative gravitational massive objects, and computational fluid dynamics, as is the case of fluid flow in porous media, and applied numerical methods, like the case of mimetic discretization techniques. His research interest also involves the uses and applications of machine learning for generating better scientific models of nature. Sergio shares products of his teaching and research activities at the link at the bottom. This video course is divided in eight sections, which we'll describe briefly. As a self-contained introductory video course, we'll start by setting the computational environment on your computer, which will allow you to get started in using, running, and modifying the set of computer programs, complementing this video course. Thus, right at the start of this video course, you'll learn how to properly install and test the Anaconda and Canopy Python distributions, any of which, given there's a fair amount of pre-installed modules, which provide a suited Python programming environment for you to start right away. We apply the installed computational tools to enrich your understanding and insight, executing the codes, complementing this video course. Next, we'll continue with the second section on Python. It's divided in two videos, Overview of Python in Engineering and Scientific Computing, followed by Python and the Jupyter Notebook. Next section is on NumPy and its functionality. We cover the basic usage of the important high-performance data array object for efficient computation. The section's been divided in four videos, working with NumPy arrays, avoiding for loops, matrices as an efficient way to operate with data, functionality of NumPy for reading and writing data. Next section, SciPy and its functionality. It comprises of six videos. First, general introduction to SciPy an overview of the wide range of computations that can be done via SciPy library, statistics with the SciPy library, fitting curves, solving differential equations, and finally, SciPy special functions. Graphing needs is covered in section five, which covers the matplotlib library. We walk you through four videos through the most fundamental usages of this library coverage, through the most fundamental usages of this library, covering two-dimensional plots via matplotlib, 3D plots, scatter and contour plots, and plotting histograms. The previous videos introduced you on the elementary uses of basic key points for becoming an efficient data analyst. Now we turn on the application of that knowledge on data preprocessing and machine learning language, which is in section six, consisting of five videos, generalities on machine learning, generalities on working with data, get it and put it in the right format, data preprocessing and exploration, collapsing data via principal component analysis, and generalities of supervised and unsupervised learning. Next comes section seven, which is about solving the regression problem in machine learning language, such as optimization via the gradient descent method, gradient descent implemented via NumPy and examples, comparing it with SciPy functions for optimization the linear regression problem and its solution via gradient descent, and solving nonlinear regression problems via gradient descent, and some thoughts for improvement. Finally, in section eight, logistic classification, you'll get acquainted with the topic in two videos. One, the overview of logistic regression for classification and prediction, and the other, implementing logistic regression for classification via SciPy functions. As you might have already guessed, the only important requirement for you to profit from this video course is to have Python 
and the complementary modules like NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib and properly installed in your computer. Python installation and setup. As an active user, following this video course, you're required to be acquainted with the logic of program, not necessarily Python. In this way, you'll be able to modify the companion code of this video course. As a passive user following this video course, you will not need any extra requirements. Other than the first one, by now, you must have an idea of the complete course and the features that we're going to implement. I assume you must be excited for this journey, so let's get started. Hopefully to see you there.